All rise. Judge Von Lepie Court is now in session. Judge, this is the case of the Brooks. Thank you. You all may be seated. Mr. Brooks, it looks like you filed this case. Tell me what's going on. Um, well, actually, I'm, I'm here today because um, I really feel like you know, well, my counterpart here, well, my co-parent, she is intentionally working um, just to not even pay or help out in child support. Um, I am a full-time father. I'm also a full-time um, employee, and I don't get as much money on a week-to-week -week basis. And I'm really looking for just a little help or support in what we created together. And it seems like she's kind of trying to run out on what? her responsibility in this with me. And I don't think that's fair. What do you mean she's trying to run out on her responsibility? What do you mean by that? Meaning trying to dodge the fact of, you know, getting this child support, you know, or being able to pay something to help me out. With have you ever child. asked her, ma'am, you, you have your opportunity to speak. Have you ever asked her to pay child support? Um, or give I've, you some money for the child. Exactly. I've asked her to help out with some of the expenses that our child occurs throughout, even like a regular school year or to maybe go attend different events, you know. But What type of expenses are you speaking about? Well, I'm speaking of expenses maybe like as far as child care, all right, um, tuition, you know, because I prefer that our child gets maybe a, a better education other than maybe what the public system will provide. And so I'm looking for just a little help on her behalf. You know, just this is something we created. Okay, ma'am, what he's asking for is not unreasonable. You're not it, willing to do that? Yana, it is unreasonable. He knows How I, is it unreasonable? He knows I'm disabled, for one. He what, knows what is your disability? I hurt my leg. Okay. And so, so I'm not able to work as I would like to. As I was, and he knows that. He knows that. You so. are aware, though, that in the state of Texas, you can be ordered to pay child support and the money comes directly out of your disability check. I did not know that, Yana. Yes. It, that's why you're here today, for me to inform you of that. Well, I don't think that's right. Because if, well, if wait, I... Wait a minute, ma'am. You, but you think it's right for him to pay all of the expenses for the child every month? Your Honor. You, you, you answer my question. Do no, you think that's right? No, Your Honor, but he's doing this because I stopped messing with him. I go over what there What do still. you mean by stop messing I with him? I still go over to his house and we still mess around. And I just decided to cut it off because my leg has been killing me. I mean, it don't make no sense you bringing that up here. Well, you're trying to bring me to court. Excuse you me, you, about that. You, you all will address me. Sorry, Your Honor. You will not address each other. I'm sorry, Your Honor. You all's rendezvous. That has nothing to do with this court proceeding and why we're here, okay? This we're is here to talk about money. Ma'am, that is a different court, okay? okay. That's not, we're, we're in support court. We're talking about child support here. Okay. And according to what has been presented to me so far, the child lives with Mr. Brooks, is that correct? I would really say us, but he lives in his home, yes. He, he, the child lives with Mr. Brooks, correct? Yes, ma'am. And Mr. Brooks, you are not receiving any type of child support, is that correct? I'm receiving nothing from her at all. Okay. Nothing? Hmm. Ma'am, how, how many children do you have? I have one with him, and then I have two others. Okay, so you have a total of three. And how much money do you make a year? Well, I don't make any now since I hurt my leg off the pole. Well, what, what pole are you referring to? Did you run into a pole? No, ma'am. I was working at Dallas Gentleman's, and he knows that, and he knows that's why I hurt my leg, and so he's been helping me. Wait a minute. What is Dallas Gentleman's? A strip club. So you were working in the strip club, so you got injured on that pole? On that pole, and he knows it, and he, and told, he forced me to work there. And you're collecting a disability check from falling off the stripper pole? Off the stripper pole. Okay, that's the first. But that's why we that's don't have a relationship now. But that's not what you said the other why? Excuse me. Sorry, Excuse Yana. me. Sorry. What do you mean by that's why you all don't have a relationship now? Because she's spending all her time up there working on the pole <laughs> for money, you know, but this is money but that she's But you know what, what sir, and, and you, you may not necessarily agree with her it's choice of work, living. but she is making some type of money. And ma'am, you are going to pay child support. How much? You're going to pay child support. How much were you working when you were on the pole? How much I was getting? Yes. I mean, I was getting close to about a night or a year. Based on the documents that you turned in with your 1099s, you were <clears throat> making about $65,000 a year. Mm. What? 
It's, he knew. These I documents think. are accurate, correct? They're pretty much accurate. Even whether he knew or not, you were making money and you're not supporting. I am supporting, but but I will say he does he does a lot. He does most of it because I am hurt and he knows that. So he's been pretty nice about that until now. What do you mean he's been pretty nice until now? I mean until now, like he's I guess since I was you know unfortunately still with that again. letting him you know come Sir, over and have our you will have your opportunity to speak. Let her speak. Thank you. And I do not need you yes, to Shana. echo me. Yes, I, yes, Your Honor. Now address me. What were you saying? Um, we would have our rendezvous, and okay. he was fine and dandy, fine and dandy. We've been doing this for five years. Five years. He knows I've been stripping, and all of a sudden he wants to pull me into court now because I stopped last week. So all of a sudden now we're on the court docket to come into court because yeah. you want child support because I stopped giving you, it up. You, you know, you 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 really need to address me. As Sorry. I've asked you. Sorry, I've asked Anna. you that I do apologize. more than once. I do apologize. Don't apologize. Just do it. Yes. Okay. Okay, ma'am, your testimony is conflicting with the documents that you provided to the court ahead of time. You testified that you have three children and one child between the two of you. But according to your paperwork, you have a fourth child. What? Yes, Your Honor. You didn't know she had a fourth, an, another child? Your Honor, I had no clue. You are not going to tell this man that you have another child? Your child has another sibling. You don't believe that's important? It's more than a sibling, but it's someone he knows, so I just don't think it's important for him to know. He's... I am not about to play these games with you. You save those games for your old job on the pole, okay? This is a serious matter. You need to be paying child support to this man, okay? Now, based on, you said you received disability, correct? Yes, ma'am. How much do you receive in disability a month? Only $1,200. Only? He's not getting anything from you. What do you mean only? Oh, he's getting a lot from me, but okay. Financially, he's not getting anything from you to support this child, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Based on my calculations, at $1,200 a month, Put you about fourteen thousand or so dollars a year. So, giving you credit for the other children you have, your child support obligation comes out to one hundred and sixty-three dollars and twenty cents. Who covers medical insurance for the child? Um, Anthony is currently on Medicaid. Medicaid. Okay. So, ma'am, considering you are the one that is going to be responsible for child support, you're also going to be responsible for the health insurance. That money has to be repaid back to Medicaid. It's a state agency. You have to pay it back. Therefore, based on what your gross and taking 9% of that, which is what you would be responsible for, for health insurance, it comes out to about $108. So your total monthly obligation is $271.20. That is to be paid on the first of each month. And it will be paid directly to him. Child support obligation and the Medicaid coverage. You understand, ma'am? Because you're looking very confused right now. And I'm confused as to why you haven't been giving him any money to support this child. Because I've been giving him other things, Your Honor. And it's what other type of things are you talking about that he gets from you? <laughs> Can you tell her what I give you, please? I'm asking you. Your Honor, I give him lap dances. I give him... Oh, Everything okay. See, that's, that's too much. That's too much. I'm, I'm referring to anything that you give him for, for the child. Based on what you all do behind closed doors, your little secret rendezvous you have going on, that has nothing to do with in here. Financially, what else have you been giving him to take care of this child? I give him about $20 every other week. $20 every other week. Sir? Ma'am. About how much does it cost you a month in expenses for this child? Um, when you consider daycare, it's $115 a week, you know, just to make sure um, she's getting a quality education. Um, along with the expenses of clothes, food, entertainment, things like that. Um, I would probably put another 100 or so on that. There's, there's no way he can live off, he can live and take care of this child off of $20, ma'am. Your child requires more than $20. So, monthly obligation, $271.20 to be paid to dad. Mr. Brooks, do you have anything else? Um, yes, Your Honor. Now, once she's healed from, you know, her injury, She'll be back to making more money. Okay. 
Yes. And so is that something that can be considered or? Oh, definitely it okay. can be considered. And ma'am, that that's actually a very good question. If you go back to the poll and you make another $65,000 and this man comes back for an increase in child support, I can entertain that. Yes, don't look confused. I can entertain that. As you get an increase, your child also gets an increase. Is there anything further? No, Your Honor. Your Honor, how am I supposed to how am I supposed to be able to afford this? I don't know. Let's see. Maybe you can pick up another job. That's all I know how to do. Is what? Hit the pole? Hit the pole. Well, you might want to find another pole job. Anything further? That'll be all, Your Honor. Okay. Thank if you. nothing further, you all are dismissed. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Vonda Bailey, and I'm coming to you as the lawyer this time. We have arrived at the educational portion of our show. I just wanted to go over what this segment would cover and how the different scenarios interact with child support under Texas law. I'm unemployed, but I receive disability benefits. Do I still have to pay child support? Well, under Texas law, that is very much so the case. Child support payments can come from many resources, including your wages, bonuses, overtime, disability payments, even workers' comp. Yes, that is very much so the case. Although you may be receiving disability benefits, you're still obligated to pay child support. Do you know of anyone who's experienced a similar situation? Be sure to subscribe to our channel and make sure you comment below. You never know, their story may end up as a scenario on our show. After all, these kids aren't raised on air alone. Support Court with Judge Bondi.